In the session, we'll be discussing about life cycle of Paxenia, which causes black rust of wheat. The disease you must have seen in the wheat and this particular disease is very important. The work for this particular disease, you will have to understand the life cycle of Paxenia. And that particular life cycle, which is uh, what you call black rust of wheat, was studied by an Indian scientist called Professor K.C. Mehta. Remember this particular name. So K.C. Mehta is the person who had worked upon the life cycle of Paxenia. And this is what I have showed you, the life cycle of Paxenia. Now what happens, because Paxenia is infecting over the wheat, and wheat, we try to, like in India, we grow the wheat, we put the seeds of the wheat in what you call month of November. And the time we put the, what you call, we sow the wheat seeds and all and then what happens is because wheat will be taking the time. So it may come out, it may start growing in what you call the December or early January. It grows from what you call December to March. So at the end of March or the first week of April, we harvest the wheat. So for Paxenia, when, can, when it is a parasite on wheat, the only favorable condition it can get from the wheat is from December to late March or early April. What will happen to Paxenia after that? Because once you will be harvesting the wheat, the Paxenia will have to look forward for something. And the Paxenia looks forward for an alternative host. So there are two hosts for Paxenia basically. The major host is wheat that shows the major what you call diseases in wheat. But the time you harvest wheat, the Paxenia will be looking forward for the alternative host which is called Barberry. So Paxenia will go and infect the Barberry leaves then. So let's us understand what is happening in the Pax, uh, what you call Paxenia life cycle which is called black rust of wheat. The disease is called black rust of wheat. So you will have first of all you will have let's suppose a straw. A straw is there. Wheat straw I am talking about. So there are two types of spores produced which is called uridospores or this is uridospores if you can look and the second is teleospores. Both of the spores are formed while Paxenia is on wheat. What happens during unfavorable situation when you, are, when you are to harvest that particular wheat or let's suppose you harvest that particular wheat, the teleospores will be coming in the soil. They'll come in the soil. Now remember these teleospores are in this situation and I've told you the situation is dicarion situation. I've told you most of the members of what you call basidiomycetes will show you this dicarion stage. Now this dicarion stage in the soil will be looking forward for what you call karyogamy and after karyogamy when the karyogamy will be uh, what you call occurring the karyogamy will also look forward for meiosis and will produce the third type of spore which is called basidiospores so basidiospores are haploid now when they are haploid basidiospores are haploid the basidiospores will go and in fact what you call barberry leaves i've told you the alternate host is barberry so till now what you have seen is like in wheat, the time wheat is there, it is forming two types of spores. One is uridospores and in one favorable situation, it is making uridospores. Uridospores are coming down on the soil. On the soil, karyogamy is happening in the what you call the meiosis is also happening and meiosis is forming you. The basidiospores are haploid and basidiospores will be falling to barberry leaves. First of all, they will fall to the upper surface of barberry leaf and onto barberry leaf, they will form the next type of spores which are called pycneospores. You can look here, pycneospores are formed. And the pycneospores will be jumping to the lower surface of the barberry leaf and which will be forming you aceospores. And aceospores become again this dicarion stage. And during this dicarion stage, like, let's suppose the wheat is coming, this is the time for wheat to come. This will hold on what you call barberry leaf till the time wheat is not grown. And the wheat is growing, the aceospores will be going and will be getting converted to uridospores or teleospores later on when they will go on to the wheat. So this is all about how the Paxenia is infecting the wheat and the time wheat is not there, Paxenia will find out the related host which is what you call barberry and rest amount of what you call life cycle it will be covering on barberry leaves. So next session will be detailing you about mycorrhiza.